Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hope that everyone is staying safe and sound and that everyone is ready to learn something new today. But first, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. Generally between three and four because this is a family friendly channel. And please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see, or you like my topics, or you like me, whatever, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. I thank you in advance. Okay, so I'm home early from work today. So I decided to do Victoria Day, which is today. Now, if you don't know what Victoria Day is, neither did I. That is the purpose of my video. Somebody asked me, you know, what is the purpose of your videos? I'm a teacher. So learning something new is important to me and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to teach people something. If you could learn at least one thing every day, you know, that's, that's good for you. Keeps your brain uh, working. Okay, Victoria Day. To Canadians, Victoria Day, the Monday before May 25th, on May 23rd this year, signifies the beginning of summer and the arrival of warmer, greener days. But, much like Independence Day in the U.S., Victoria Day has more colonial roots than I usually discuss amidst all the fireworks and jolly gatherings. This day marks the birthday of Queen Victoria, who was the ruling monarch at the time of Canada's birth as a country in 1867. So now you know what, what, what Victoria Day means. It's a day to celebrate all the wonderful things that make Canada, Canada. I don't know much about Canada. I've been there, but I don't know much about it. Okay. History of Victoria Day. The celebration of the iconic Queen began in 1845 when the Canadian government announced Victoria's birthday on May 25th as a national holiday. It wasn't until after Queen Victoria died in 1901, however, that the holiday was fully solidified in the country as an official holiday. In 1952, Canada redesigned the celebrations for the Monday preceding May 25th. Just like we do, we make a lot of holidays on a Monday, so we have a three-day weekend. Uh, same thing with uh, Canada. Queen Victoria is significant to the Canadian people because she held the throne in 1867 when they were awarded their independence as an entity of the British Empire. She's also responsible for laboring Ottawa as the nation's capital. Up until 1956, the seceding monarch's birthday would be celebrated either on their true birthdays or also on May 25th, Queen Victoria's. When reigning Queen Elizabeth took her title, Canada named May 25th as her official birthday within the borders of the chilly North American country. The her real day of birth is April 21st. Okay. Contrary to what many might think, Victoria Day is not spent learning about the history of the British monarchy, nor is it spent crafting miniature sculptures of Queen Victoria out of clay or paint. The day is all about ringing in the new summer season, which to people who live quite near the North Pole, it's a significant occasion. By the time this holiday rolls around each year, Canadians have been through a long, snowy gray winter. As the leaves on the trees turn green and the chill gives way to balmy breezes, Canadians strip to their swimsuits and go for their first swims, holding sports tournaments and enjoying fresh summer feasts. I've been to Canada twice. And both times I was there, it was cold. 1845, Blooming Nation. The early Canadian, the early Canadian government designates May 25th as a day of celebration from border to border. 1867, Canadian Independence. With Victoria as the reigning royal, Britain grants Canada its national independence. 1901, posthumous celebrations. Queen Victoria dies and Canada establishes Victoria Day as an official national holiday. 1952, no parades on Sundays. Due to Queen Victoria's staunch religious be beliefs, Canada shifts Victoria Day to occur on the Monday preceding May 25th to avoid celebrations on Sunday. Sundays. 
Okay, so now we know uh, some interesting facts that we didn't know before. I know I did. So that's it for my video today. Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. Trust me, it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. I cannot stress this enough. You know, and comments uh, are greatly appreciated as well. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. As I stated before, this is a family-friendly channel, so I try to put my videos up between 3 and 4 uh, during the week. On the weekend, sometimes it varies. And please, if you like my content, or you like my videos, or you just think I'm a really good teacher, which most of my students do, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Right now, I'm currently about 1,600 subscribers, and, you know, can use all the help with uh, getting more subscribers. I'm getting close to my goal of 4,000 hours. I just need about close to 700 hours more. So the more people watching my channel, the faster I can get there. Hopefully I can get there by the end of summer. I thank you. Stay safe. And I will speak to you soon.